welcome students today in this video we are going to learn about few more insects here comes the lac insect lac insects usually grow on banyan trees these lac insects they secrete a semi solid substance called as lac this lac is used in paints varnishes and also it's a material in printing ink and it is also used for making bangles so lac insect secretes a semi solid substance called lac lac insect is also a useful insect look here this is a lac insect can you see this red substance on this tree twig yes this is the lac that has dried up observe here children you can see this branch completely covered up with lac this lac is collected and it is used for creating paints bangles etc as i have told you before and here is the ladybird beetle this is a very friendly insect this insect eats large number of pests that attack the crop that attack the plants these pests are harmful for the plants these pests eat the leaves of the plant so what happens the plants get destroyed but this ladybird insect eats all this pests and saves the crop and the plants from this harmful pests let's have yes children this is a ladybird it's an insect this is a farmer's friend now we will study about few harmful insects why are they harmful because they spread diseases what are the examples of these harmful insects guess yes house flies mosquitoes etc are harmful insects we will learn more about them now let's learn about house flies house flies are one of the most harmful insects how are they harmful suppose children there is garbage around your house you also find many house flies sitting on the garbage what happens when they sit on the garbage when they sit on the garbage the germs that are present in the garbage are stick to their body and feet i'll show you how so the garbage on the garbage when the house fly sits like this the germs get stuck and when in turn these house flies come into your house and they by mistake they sit on your uncovered foot these germs are left behind on your foot and when you eat it you are infected so you get diseases like cholera diarrhea and jaundice so this is how house flies spread diseases so house flies spreads diseases like diarrhea cholera and jaundice these are very dangerous diseases so children we should keep our surroundings clean and we should only eat covered food and here is a mosquito what does a mosquito do it stings us right it stings us as and it sucks the blood from a human being right but how do they cause diseases yes these mosquitoes when they suck the blood it carries the germs from one person to other person what happens if the person is a sick person suppose a mosquito bites a sick person and then it bites a healthy person the virus gets transmitted from a sick person to a healthy person so this is how the germs spread by mosquitoes Do you know a female Anopheles mosquito causes malaria and the an Nandis mosquito causes dengue You can observe here You can observe here how the 
mosquito is sucking blood. So whenever the mosquito stings a unhealthy person, the virus gets transmitted into the mosquito and when it turns by the healthy person, the virus is injected into the healthy person and the healthy person is also affected. So we should keep our surroundings clean to prevent these mosquitoes also from breeding. We will learn how. Here are a few other blood sucking insects. These blood sucking insects are wingless. So one of the example is fleas. What are fleas? These are very small insects that are found in the hair of animals. On different types of animals you find these fleas. Even in our head also if we don't keep it clean. We find this. So first the fleas are mostly found on rats. Okay. This fleas cause a dangerous disease like bubonic plague. And the other examples of fleas are bed bug, head lice, cat fleas and dog fleas. Where do you find this cat fleas and dog fleas? You find it on your pet dog and a pet cat. And bed bug if you don't keep your bed clean. And head lies if you don't keep your head neat. And here we learned about this dangerous rat fleas that is causing a disease, bubonic plague. In the past, during the 13th century, about 25 million people in Europe are killed due to this plague. These people are infected by a dangerous disease called plague. This bubonic plague is caused by a fleas that is present on the rats. And during this time, many people were quarantined as we are getting quarantined now because of this coronavirus pandemic. The same situation that we are facing now was faced by the people of 13th century in Europe and almost in many parts of the world because of this disease, bubonic plague. So children, in order to save ourselves from these harmful insects, the first thing that we have to keep it in our mind is to keep our surroundings clean. To avoid all these dangerous diseases, we have to keep our surroundings clean. Do not allow water to get stagnated around the house. Do not throw garbage in public areas. Do not eat uncovered food. This is how we can avoid these dangerous diseases and we can keep ourselves safe and healthy. And here are these sting insects. What do you mean by sting insects? Sting insects are the insects that sting. By this time you might have known what type of insects sting. Yes, the bees and wasps are the insects that sting. And what's another insect that stings you? It's mosquito. It's often poisonous but causes redness and itching and pain when these insects sting us. Suppose we find all these harmful insects around our surroundings and how do we save them? We have few natural methods and few chemicals that help us to save ourselves from these harmful insects. One of the natural method is using the neem leaves and next comes the use of chemicals. Using insecticides and pesticides, we can kill these harmful insects and pests around us and save ourselves from these insects. But children, prevention is better than cure. If you keep your surroundings clean, these insects won't breed around your houses and you will be safe. So you don't need to follow all these methods. Just keep your surroundings clean. Here is how the neem helps you to save yourselves from these 
harmful insects. What happens is when you use this neem, when you boil this neem leaves in water and you spray it around your houses and use it as a repellent or a disinfectant, what happens is this neem reduces the insect feeding. This because of this neem, the insects stop feeding and this interferes in the insect's hormone system and what happens is the insects stop growing and when the insects stop growing they do not lay eggs and that's how the breeding stops and the insects are reduced. So this is how this is the natural way neem helps you to save yourself from the harmful insects. And next comes the usage of pesticides and insecticides. These farmers will be using these to save the crop from pests. This is harmful. It affects us. But when they take proper precautions when they are using these insecticides and pesticides. Spider and its web. Children, is spider an insect? No. Spider is not an insect. Then what? Insects have six legs. How many insects this spider has? Count them. Yes. The spider has eight legs. What is another animal that has eight legs, children? Octopus. Yes. So, spider is an animal. It's not an insect because it has eight legs. Have a look here students how the spider is artistically constructing its web strand by strand. Look here how it's using its legs to hold each strand that is secreting from its mouth and it's constructing its web. Thank you. Do subscribe and like my videos.